Hello, I'm here today to talk about multi-flow for use with Brooks Instrument flow controllers. The Brooks multi-flow configurator software is a fast and simple method to reprogram the gas and range on a GF100 series, GF40 series, GF80 series, and celerity or unit brand mass flow controllers without removing them from the gas line. Within MultiFlow is a comprehensive gas database utilizing real gas modeling and characterization, which is done in our lab. This allows for the reconfigured devices to be as accurate as possible, since the gas page is using a real modeled gas curve rather than a linear conversion factor based only on theory. This means that you can have one physical device, but it can serve the purpose of hundreds due to the ease of reconfiguration. Another perk about MultiFlow is that it can be downloaded for free from our website. MultiFlow was developed to eliminate the need to build individually configured MFCs. The GF series comes with 11 base sizes, which we call bin sizes, and each of those can be reconfigured for a range of gases and flow rates in less than 60 seconds. With a MultiFlow device, you also get a significant improvement in process gas accuracy and control. This shows the accuracy of nitrogen in a Brooks MultiFlow device versus a competitor device. It looks like the Brooks device and the competitor device have very similar accuracies, but then when the actual process gas is run through, in this case SF6, the results are much more divisive. The competitor device performs poorly due to using only a linear conversion factor, while the Brooks device is much more stable and accurate due to the real gas modeling. If you want to start using MultiFlow, you will need a GF series device, a MultiFlow cable kit, and a power supply. Now we're going to install MultiFlow. To install MultiFlow, you'll want to go to the Brooks Instrument website, uh, brooksinstrument.com. Now we'll go through the process of installing MultiFlow. You'll want to go to Products, Accessories and Software, Product Software, MultiFlow Configurator, and here you'll see where you can download everything. You can download um, the manuals, the quick start guides, here you'll download the configurator itself and then you'll download the Flowcom databases that go along with it. You want to be aware of the Flowcom databases that you are required to use. If you have any questions about this you can contact technical services. Once it downloads you'll then extract the files from the zip file and you'll start the installation process. You'll want to right click on the executable and select run as administrator. Once you select this, um, you will be going through the installation process. This may take a few minutes. You'll just want to click on next throughout the whole process until everything is installed. Once that is installed, you'll want to install the Flowcom databases as well. You will right-click on that and run it as administrator, and then click on Next, and Next again, and everything will install. Now that that's installed, you can start the program. Now we're going to go through connecting to a device and configuring it within the MultiFlow program. To connect to a device, you will click Pull Network while having the proper COM port selected. The connected device will show up in a highlighted line. To edit the configuration of the device, you will go into the Configure Device menu. This is where you can select a different gas, change device orientation, and modify the full scale flow rate. Note that whenever you change gases, the flow rate of the device may change due to differing gas properties. If I were to change that device to be sized for something, say, like hydrogen trifluoride, that range would change. Or if I were to change it to helium, that range would change again. You can also sort the gases by semi-gas code to more easily find what you're looking for. In the device setting menu, the password is CEL123, you can change the wake-up state of the device which is the device setting a power up. You can switch between analog and digital mode, change the MAC ID if you have multiple devices on the same COM port that you need to differentiate, set the current and wake up baud rate, zero the MFC, 
and change device net settings. Find SC bin lets you know what flow rate with what gas the corresponding bin size is. There are 11 bin sizes in the GF product line, each corresponding to an optimal range of flow rates. The View Details button shows which pages are on the device and which one is active. You want to right click to activate or deactivate pages. The Create Label button can create a new label if the device has been reconfigured. In order to use this feature, you will need